So, steps. Okay. Uh, it's. Uh, I'm rather sorry that uh, I can't be at the conference which uh, Professor Shemuth and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Professor Banerjee and others have been uh, so uh, enthusiastically organizing uh, and uh, on a topic which is tremendously relevant and uh, is of a uh, an uh, essential um, uh, importance to the future of our country because everything said and done, uh, the future of the country lies in basic education and uh, in the world of today, uh, basic education does mean a grounding in the sciences so that the country can have a science and technology base. For Variety, for a variety of reasons, uh, it has become very clear that um, the uh, desire to uh, study science and even technology, uh, although the engineering institutes draw a lot of crowd, uh, it is um, uh, uh, basically uh, so that the students can graduate and get into um, uh, jobs which don't require the uh, skills, technical skills that they have acquired. So uh, uh, a lot of uh, engineering students desert the discipline and uh, go into uh, management and things like that. So that's also not, uh, that cannot be considered a technical education. So sa both science and technical education are being threatened and uh, therefore it's worth asking uh, why uh, this sudden, um, or not quite sudden, but uh, let's say over the past 20 years what has happened that uh, has led to this uh, situation. What one can, one of the things one can immediately focus on is a very faulty uh, school education. School education is not such that would induce you uh, to stay in um, uh, science and uh, technology for any extended period of time uh, because the way it is taught and the way um, uh, things are carried out uh, does not seem to convey the um, uh, uh, feeling that learning science could be a satisfying thing. Obviously, the question of satisfaction has to be there because there is going to be uh, necessarily an uh, economic down um, uh, turn relative to the um, uh, uh, other sectors. So there is going to be a certain amount of economic deprivation in life and therefore it can only be compensated uh, by uh, um, uh, feeling that what uh, we are doing is something very satisfying. And if you are going to be satisfied with doing science, then it has to be that from the way you are taught in schools, it has to seem to you that there can be satisfaction obtained from doing this for the rest of your working life. And that's where we have failed and that's where we need to uh, put our mind uh, to see what, um, uh, uh, why uh, it has failed. The, why it has failed, one of the reasons could very well be that there is no um, uh, desire on the part of the instructors to uh, explain science, explain phenomena. Uh, it, science is taken certainly in the initial classes as a, a, a set of information that is given out. Uh, information is of no use except in uh, quizzes and uh, uh, these uh, general knowledge quizzes and so on and so forth. It does not help um, any, uh, anybody develop any particular uh, trait. So a question of treating science in school as general knowledge has to be completely discarded. Science has to be taught has at if we are um, uh, talking about uh, as, as, uh, let's say uh, from grade six to eight, uh, 
the science has to be at, as phenomena which the teacher can explain. So only those things can be um, taught where it is possible for uh, inquiring mind uh, to um, uh, understand what the reason behind or at least get a reasonable idea of what the reason behind a particular phenomenon is, although it may not be uh, possible at that stage to make clear uh, exactly why um, uh, certain things are happening, but at least it should not be left to um, uh, 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 the, uh, it, it can be shown variety. The wrong thing about science is if you, can, if you use the word, it can be shown. It can be shown is a phrase that needs to be removed from the uh, teaching process. That if I have to use that phrase, then it means that I don't understand and therefore I'm not capable of showing um, uh, uh, what needs to be shown. So if I do not believe that a particular thing can be explained at all, then I have to leave it out of the syllabus. So if I construct a science syllabus, then it has to be based on things which can be shown and which can be understood. And at the same time, maths, which is the backbone of all sciences, whether it is physics, chemistry, biology or any technic, uh, technology, maths uh, cannot be compromised with. So maths has to be taught this question of uh, uh, maths being made friendly, maths being made uh, this and that, uh, that, that uh, simply cannot be uh, entertained. Basic maths has to be learned, otherwise uh, the whole training uh, uh, is uh, useless. This maths must include things which I seem to have forgotten, but uh, seems to have forgotten like arithmetic and uh, algebraic manipulations and the logic of geometry. So the, what these things which were uh, the norm 50 years ago have to come back and, uh, and uh, uh, one uh, needs to uh, put a special uh, emphasis on uh, in, uh, developing a maths curriculum uh, for the students. Further down the line, grades 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, the science has to focus once again to things which um, uh, are ex uh, 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 understandable to the student and things which are understandable to the student. If I now uh, uh, focus on the thing part which I know, which is physical sciences, have to be elementary things like Newton's law, um, uh, laws of uh, the phenomenon of electromagnetism and so on and so forth, where the, the, uh, the subject matter has to be gone into details over the whole period of four years from 9 up to 12. Newton's law, which really forms the backbone of, uh, along with laws of literature, of everything that we see around us, that, that is the visible world, um, and needs to be understood. And it cannot be understood in one year, two years, or uh, year, maybe even three years. The way it has to come is that you are exposed to it in one year, you don't really, the first exposure does not give you any idea of what it is, but the next year it comes back in your life and you start probably feeling a little more comfortable and if it recurs back uh, in the third and fourth years and, and gradually um, uh, getting a little and little, uh, uh, more, uh, a little more ambitious every time, then by the end of four years one would be uh, living with uh, uh, things like Newton's law and laws of electromagnetism and not have to depend in future on somebody else setting up the basic model for you and you sort of trying to build on it. The problem with Indian science in the later stages is that people are afraid to take the first step. The first step is always taken by somebody in the West and we add a few more steps to it. That that has to change 
and if it has to change and you have to have the first step, uh, you have need to write the first step. The first step involves the basic education and the basic education has to be right. So things like Newton's law, electromag laws of electromagnetism, and um, uh, the laws of uh, thermodynamics uh, may, uh, may be in the very uh, later stages of 11 and 12. These need to be hammered in repeatedly year after year in order that everybody who is going to take this up as a profession is completely familiar with and is not afraid to use it to write down uh, uh, things in his later or her uh, later life when you are faced with the prospect of setting up models of your own. So this, the scientific education it has to be sort of revamped right now. Most of the boards use Newton's, uh, teach Newton's laws in classes 9 and 10 and then forget about it in 11 and 12 which is uh, ridiculous because 9 and 10 is not really the time uh, after which nobody is at home with um, uh, Newton's laws requires a much longer um, uh, patience. Instead, the 11 and 12 Newton's laws are taught in tutorials which are preparing students for IIT, JE and things like that uh, yeah, until so long as we can't get rid of this uh, absurd situation uh, in the country and the government comes in and takes the responsibility of revamping uh, uh, the syllabus, redoing the way science is taught from 6 up to 12, uh, there is not going to be a significant basic science output in the, um, uh, uh, from this country uh, in the years to come. So what Professor Banerjee is organizing is a tremendously important thing as, uh, 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 because it needs to be understood where our lacuna are and what should be and what, uh, what can be and what should be done by all of us who are uh, involved in the teaching process uh, to build uh, India with a, bigger, with a better science and technology base. Thank you very much.